guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. I'm going to be showing you how to make admin commands in a tower defense game. Yes, that is right. This is not fake scam. Like, there's no there other things on YouTube. But there's a link in the description for my tower defense game kit, which you need for these commands to work. So, um, so if you get the commands and the kit in, so we insert the kit. Then we insert the commands. It's not finished, the admin commands, but kit, by the way. It will be added soon. So if you want to just delete this um, base plate, just find the ones without a decal. If it has a texture, then delete it because you don't really need it. So yeah, follow the instructions to this. Now this does work. I will be showing you how this works. So ungroup this in workspace. Ungroup in starter GUI. Server script service and replicate storage. So we're gonna do this, 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 and that. Ungroup. So there you go. So now I'd create a folder. Ah, oh, the folder. And we're just gonna name this um, parts. And then get everything here. And just put it in that folder so just to make sure it's not too cluttered do not change anything in this folder otherwise it will not work so what is this oh, this thing sucks don't delete that you don't need that i deleted the kit i, I put the kit in here <laughs> you can delete my this after as well delete that admin commands kit so you ungroup this now put this in server script service this into replicate storage and this admin script this is the admin gui put this in starter gui and you'll come up with this so the enemies you can customize these enemies all you want you customize them if you want so yeah customize them completely so there will be other tutorials this on so today we're just going to be focusing on spawning in enemies and um, we'll do spawning in cash tomorrow uh, of, uh, the next episode will be spawning in cash so as you can see yep, you can scroll down and it's really cool so we're gonna go on to here and we're gonna go to the scrolling frame we're gonna press add and the text button so now you put your text button down here make sure it's squared sometimes yes it will glitch like when you're sizing it it will glitch but don't worry just drag it back into place we're gonna name this button boss spawn boss spawn and then we're gonna put here spawn boss in the text sp spawn boss now yes the code will also be link in the description the script will be in the um, description so it's all be there for you you can just copy and paste it so you add a script into here so yes you could just copy and paste this from in the link in the description by the way you don't have to do any coding for this you just do it so i'm just going to be doing it so local button equals script dot parent button dot connect delete that put more brackets in function um local clone equals game dot workspace dot oh for, 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 for. replicate storage dot replicate storage sound dot enemies now the boss in my game is Halloween killer. Oh yes, for one thing, if there's a space in your boss name, you, it's gotta be an underscore because spaces don't work for this script. So it's just gonna put underscore there because it will come up as this and it won't work. So yeah, dot dot uh, clone. That just a note. Just a note. Now there will be things in the script that will tell you this because this you gotta listen to that otherwise it will not work and if it doesn't work just let me know in the comments and I'll see um what happens. So and then clone dot parent equals um 
the parent equals game, game dot workspace dot map dot name. So here we go. So we're gonna press play. No, look, you can you press the button there. So we're gonna wait for the enemies to spawn her, and then we're just gonna spawn him. So let's place down our towers. There, place it there. We'll max him out. Place down a few dummies. Oh, by the way, this kit do not customize the towers. Only customize the enemies, because if you customize the towers, they will break. I got this kit from someone else as well, and it has copyright towers in. So if you do know how to change them, let me know, please, because I don't want these copyright towers in my game. This is Sussy Bark, and I got this kit from a copyright tower, stupid head. Now if we press spawn boss. Oh yeah, one thing, one thing I forgot to mention. Now. The boss that you want to spawn in, so you have to put him in the workspace for the thing that you want to spawn in, and you have to drag it into the spawn. You have to drag it into the spawn because otherwise it will just spawn in from nowhere. It will take five years to get to the spawn and then start walking, and then put him back into the enemies. <laughs> so now, if we play it, it should spawn. In. Yes. Okay. Spawn boss. There he is, there is our lovely Halloween killer, He's our boss, well, there he is guys, amazing. So the next thing we're going to do is clear all enemies, so we're going to be clearing all the enemies here, so visible, we're just going to move this to the side, and then we're going to, we're going to put this, kill all, kill all. And then, so we're going to put this, clear all enemies, enemies, there we go, so there you go guys, and then put the script, this is also going to be in the description as well, the script will be linked in the description as well, and that's all you need, so we're going to put local, again, button, if you want to copy my script, it's fine if you want, of course, script. Dot parent button dot connect well I think cut so this is my thing my audio is got a cut my it just cut so yes here we go connect function game dot workspace dot map dot Enemy dot dot clear all children. I see it, that's literally it. So if we close the tab, go into here. You know, you just got lots of enemies and you feel like you're not gonna survive. So just say you have all of these enemies and you just feel like you're not gonna survive, guys. Press clear all enemies and they're gone. Simple. Look okay, see all these enemies gone 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 so yeah that's gonna wrap it up with this video you can do as many spawns as you want by the way you can do as many as you want you can have more enemies just copy and paste them and there's a how to change the help by the way just let you know how to change the help oh by the way one thing i didn't mention when you're finished editing this gotta put it back in the admin script and change these names okay hold on let me just change Names here. Hold on. Oh, 
Okay, so I say what. So just change those names in there. Okay, just change them. Okay. Hold on. Wait, this is the wrong one. I gotta reset it. Off sales. Okay. just gonna delete all of those so I can update this thing guys so Okay, bye guys.